If there is one app that is often overlooked by iPhone users, then you have to be the Files app. The Files app is more than just a simple storage system. It allows you to use different tools such as Apple Intelligence and writing tools to interact with your documents. So in this video, I'll show you how you can do so. Over here, we are on the Browse tab. So there are two main categories with the locations being at the top and the text app below. So under locations, we have the iCloud drive on my iPhone recently deleted. So you can customize this list. And underneath, we have the text of different colors. Let me show you how you can customize this list. So at the top, we have the three dots. So we tap on it and then we'll tap on edit over here. And you can sort the locations as per to your liking. You can switch it off if you want to. Okay, so we are done with these edits. We'll hit back. And let's say you want to connect to a server, you can just tap on this. So you can connect to Dropbox, Box. You just have to key in the URL and then enter the credentials on the next page. Okay, let's say you want to scan a document, you're going to tap on this. So you will take a photo of the hard copy document and it gets uploaded to the Files app. So I've previously uploaded three different PDF documents onto the Files app. So I'll show you how you can use the different built-in tools to interact with it. So these are the three documents. They aren't really complicated, just uh, simple documents. I will show you later on. So we just have a look at the human drones documents first. So I'll just proceed to tap on this. In this document, we have an image at the top and a chunk of text below. So I'll show you how I'm going to use Apple Intelligence to interact with this document. First, we have to highlight the document here. So we we'll just proceed to do so till the end of this section, till the final word here. And then we we'll look for the writing tools. Okay, this one, we will tap on it. And now we'll search for summary. Okay, at the bottom left. So Apple Intelligence will generate a summary of the highlighted text that we have here. Instead of the summary, we can also go for the key points of the highlighted text. So let me show you how it's done. We can just go back and we'll look for the key points. We'll tap on this and let's give Apple Intelligence a few moments. And very quickly, it's able to lay out the key points of the highlighted text. If you are satisfied with this output, you can also scroll up and copy this or even share it with someone. So this is how seamless it is to use Apple Intelligence to interact with your PDF files. Now, instead of the human drones document, we'll go with the Sushi Chef document. So we we'll just tap on it. So this is a three page document and the format is the same as before. We have an image at the top and a chunk of text below. Let me show you how you can use writing tools to interact with it. So we tap on the highlighter and we just zoom in and uh, perhaps highlight the first sentence of uh, this paragraph here. So you can change the color if you like to below and to erase it, you just have to tap on the eraser at the bottom and we'll proceed to erase it here. We'll be done very quickly. And now let's say you want to make some annotations or indications. You can also use a pen or a pencil. So to activate that, you just tap on the bottom left and we'll add an arrow over here. So let's say you want to use your pen or pencil to underline. You can also do so. So this really shows you how versatile these writing tools are. And if you want to add your signature, you can also do so. We'll just uh, scroll down to the bottom of the PDF. And then we will tap on the writing tools. And we'll add this signature here. So that's the plus icon here. You just have to tap on it. And we'll add the signature. So you will sign over here. Once completed, you just have to tap on done at the top. Okay, and your signature is added. So to enlarge it, you just have to drag the sides. And if you want to thicken it, you can also increase up to 15 over here. So now that we have added our signature, we can also just uh, remove it. Okay, so let me show you how you can add or remove signature. 
So you can add multiple signatures over here and if you like to remove it, you just have to tap on the minus and delete. So far what we have seen is very impressive, but the next one will be even better. So we just head back and we have three documents here. We are going to merge them into one final copy. So to do so, you tap on the uh, three dots at the top and we'll select. So we'll choose the three documents here. And now let's look for the option to merge them all together. Don't think it's here, so we we'll just look for it again. Yes, so the option to merge is to select the create PDF option. So we'll select it. And the merge PDF is uh, being created. So the file size is noticeably larger. So over here we have a 10 page PDF. And it is a combination of the Christmas sales document and also the human drones document. So this is a very good feature because uh, you do not need to use any third party apps or software to do the merging of the PDF documents. All you have to do is to refer to the iPhone files app and you can merge them all together. So the next feature that I'm going to show you is how to remove pages from PDF documents. So you look for the print option and then you will unselect the pages that you do not want. In this case, we will unselect the last three pages. So we should not be expecting a 10 page document. Right now it should just be a seven page document. So we'll look for the save to file option. Okay, we'll select this and then we'll rename the file to Sushi Chef Edited. So we just uh, type that in and we'll save it. So we'll tap done and there we have it. This document is there. So we we'll just have a look, seven pages, that is right. Okay, so this is how easy it is to remove pages from a PDF document. Now we'll move on to the next feature. So we'll just tap and hold on this PDF document and we'll select compress. So this is to save storage. So a zip file will be created. As you can see, the file size is smaller. So to unzip it, you just have to tap on the zip file. So we we'll proceed to tap on it. And the file will be recreated. The file size is the same as the original one. And on to the next feature, I'll show you how you can add labels to your files. So tap and hold. And then select text at the bottom. So we'll go for the red one. You are free to add in any new text that you like to of different colors. For now, we just go with this one. So our label is added and we just have a look at the red tag over here. Just tap on it. And yes, our file is there and it's able to open. So this is the end of the file app tutorial. I hope you learned a thing or two 